Hey, what's up, chemistry people? We're going to do a quick guided practice problem here to get us thinking about what happens when we dissolve soluble ionic compounds into solution. This problem asks us to write the equation for the dissolution of aluminum sulfate in water. If 1.00 moles of aluminum sulfate is dissolved, one, how many moles of aluminum ions are produced? Two, how many moles of sulfate ions are produced? And three, what is the total number of moles of ions produced by dissolving 1.00 mole of aluminum sulfate? All right, so in this case, we're gonna start by writing the formula for our solid salt. In this case, aluminum sulfate. And we wanna think about what happens when we add it to water. And in a situation like this, we often just see water written above the arrow. And you'll see how we let other people know that we've dissolved it in water when we write our products. So this is gonna dissolve into our aluminum ions, which have a three plus charge, and our sulfate ions, which have a two minus charge. Now, this is where nomenclature is gonna come back again, and again, and again, never going away. You have to recognize that when this compound dissolves, it's not gonna dissolve into just one aluminum and one sulfate. The ratio of ions is a two to three ratio. So for every one formula unit of aluminum sulfate, we're gonna form two aluminum ions and three sulfate ions. Or for every mole of aluminum sulfate that we dissolve, we're gonna form two moles of aluminum ions and three moles of sulfate ions. Now, you may not need this to be spelled out for you, but I'm gonna do it because sometimes you're gonna have not just one mole, you're gonna have something that's a little more difficult. So if I had 1.00 moles of aluminum sulfate, for every mole of aluminum sulfate, I'm gonna get two moles of aluminum ions. So for every one mole of aluminum sulfate that is dissolved, I'm gonna get two moles of aluminum ions. Boom, that answers question number one. Part two, how many moles of sulfate ions? Again, I'm gonna start with my 1.00 moles of aluminum sulfate, and I'm gonna convert now to moles of sulfate. Notice that this time the ratio isn't one to two, but for every one mole of aluminum sulfate, I'll get three moles of sulfate ions. So I'll make 3.00 moles of sulfate. Boom, question number two, done. Question number three is asking us, what is the total number of moles of ions produced by dissolving one mole of aluminum sulfate? Well, we made two moles of aluminum ions and three moles of sulfate ions for a total of 5.00 moles of ions. Boom, question number three, answer. Now, before I leave this amazing video, keep in mind all of the stoichiometry that could potentially come from this. What if I only had half a mole of aluminum sulfate. How many moles of aluminum ions and how many moles of sulfate ions would I make then? What if I had two moles? What if I had six moles? What if I had four moles? Look forward to some fun times in class. 